Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Yes, today we are looking at something that just kind of got reported on the news. This is kind of a bit more of like a Derm Discovers or a little news bite kind of thing. Because I'm playing through Final Fantasy XV at the moment, and obviously we've got a little bit of news about the updates that they're planning to do for the console version for for the console version for the game over the next while. This is actually like the free updates list outside of the uh, the planned kind of like season pass details that we've all either paid for or not paid for. And I personally have not paid for it yet because I don't believe in uh, paying up front for something that I don't know what the quality of it is going to be. They There was a little bit of a lock behind. If you had bought the season pass, you got like the camera kit and a couple other little bas extra bonuses for Final Fantasy XV at release. But these are also things you could have got from Amazon if you had gone and DLC by pre-ordered it from them. So um, yeah, let's take a look and see what they were saying about the... Um, the updates that are on coming. Now, this is all free content. So this is actually isn't stuff that we're paying for. But my biggest concern with it is that it actually is alter well, altering or adding to the storyline as we're playing through it. And of course, with it being um, a fairly like um, important change, like I'm making it something that actually is a um, fundamental change to a way a character reacts or a character lives in the game, then there's going to be a lot of time to prepare it into it, a lot of script writing, a lot of dialogue changing. So we have our early plans to enrich certain aspects of the story, adding gameplay enhancements to Chapter 13. Now, I haven't got as far as Chapter 13 yet, so I'm glad I'm actually they're pretty broad with us, but they do mention a character. Uh, buffing ring magic, and we'll have the specifics what and when for you at a later date. After that, we're hoping to delve deeper into the story, adding scenes that will give you a new insight into character motivation, such as why Ravis walked to the path he did. Now, the entire idea of actually adding more content to a game like this post-release i'm not against in any way shape or form i don't think many of us should be against because it's um it's the continued support by the developers and those are means that bugs are going to get fixed things are going to get actually altered and changed to really make the the gameplay experience more enriched that's what it's there for but the um the addition of a the, the, i know it's almost guaranteed that they're going to do a new game plus because this is assuming that people are going to come back to do a second run through a third run through of final fantasy 15 and I mean, a lot of people have done it. I've played at least three of the Final Fantasies at least a dozen times in my life. Maybe not because of the actual the new game plus, but definitely because I actually enjoyed the gameplay and the story, which I have been enjoying for fi three Final Fantasy XV so far. The combat hasn't been unbelievably difficult. The story hasn't been droll. I've actually felt the pace is kind of re reasonably good, especially for the fact that I've been doing very little of the DLC side mission hunting kind of quests. So other features we have in mind include letting you carry over stats from the previous playthrough, New Game Plus, and adding items that introduce new playstyles such as low-level runs and god mode, which is an interesting choice because low-level runs are actually one of the most fun things about playing Final Fantasy VIII for me. I enjoy playing Final Fantasy VIII because of the how easy its low-level run really is because uh, you don't really, you don't, in fact, if you're doing it extremely right, you don't actually have to level up at all on any fight other than bosses, which you can't uh, card. Uh, and even then, the easiest way to do that is actually um, to kill all your teammates and have only Squall get leveled. Or actually kill Squall and make sure he's the only one who doesn't get leveled. Sorry, that's me doing completely wrong. Make sure Squall's dead at the end of every fight so he doesn't level. Everybody else can level, but he can't. Um, which then keeps the monster levels down. So what was their uh, previous place we had in gameplay? Oh, low level runs in god mode. God mode, god difficulty, I'm imagining. We're also examining re readability tweaks, increasing font size for certain languages. On top of that, we're looking at content you can enjoy in real time, including new bosses with exclusive rewards and achievements and limited time hunts, which is a great idea. Like, I mean, if you can get New Game Plus up and running like that first and then create a Monster Hunter platform out of Final Fantasy XV, <clears throat> you've probably taken one of the most uh, enjoyable parts of Final Fantasy X and International Edition. Um, that was that was actually a pretty fun addition to all the other stuff that was in 10. Didn't really mean that I enjoyed 10 all that much in general, but uh, the monster hunts were actually kind of one of the better side quests, and that pretty much became the a large part of Final Fantasy 12 as well, which, it, of course, they're probably going to do to match up with the release of Zodiac, uh, or Zodiac Age, the, um, the remaster of that that's coming out in PlayStation 4. I mean, the, the, I don't have any problems with any of these ideas, the Final Fantasy XV season pass doesn't even annoy me. I just I'm, I'm going to accept that these things that we're going to get, like the holiday pack, I'm assuming for Christmas, uh, the booster pack, Gladiolus, Ignis, Prompto, and the comrades, all those kind of uh, packs that we're going to be getting as part of the season pass, are there to just extend the life of a game that they took ten years to make. If your game was done one and done before Christmas and nobody else was going to play, it, and people weren't going to play it again, because the longevity of games is probably the biggest problem. Now is that 
kids will play a game and adults will play a game and then move on to the newest release. If you can maintain a constant viewership, a, 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 a constant user base in a game, then that's the that's how, that's how you make money now, I suppose. Um, especially if they take the Final Fantasy 15 framework, customize it, and maybe just take it in the direction of a GTA 5. You know, you've got a big world out there. Populate it with stuff and keep it entertaining. Especially if they're going to start doing like multiplayer missions. Can you imagine a hub in Final Fantasy XV where you just meet other hunters? There's a, there's a plenty of places they could go with this. But um, of course, that's not the story. That's uh, no, well, not the story. Especially that people want to see. People want to see this is actually like Square Enix kind of like trying to eke out money out of all of their players. But again, this is all free content. This is I I believe Final Fantasy XV was going to be a platform that they're going to do a lot of stuff with. And as a platform, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next. So I suppose, um, yeah, guys, uh, there's not really much else to say about the details of what we're getting out of. This is actually the earliest of earliest announcements, but we'll come back with any news in the future as you watch me play through Final Fantasy XV. If you enjoyed hearing me uh, ramble on about the quickest news and most recent news about Final Fantasy XV, you can always hit the subscribe button up there to get any updates in the future, or you can check over here on this side where we actually have a bunch of videos that are stuff that I've done while playing Final Fantasy XV and other games, so you can check those out. Um, of course, you can follow through the playthrough as we continue on into like Chapter 6, I think, is the next one that we're doing. So, um... Go and check it out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.